What's going on everybody? Kwaku here, back with another video. It's been a while, I know, but luckily today is the day where some new apps, or plural apps, came from our favorite publisher, Apple. Uh, came to the Microsoft Store. These two apps are Apple TV. We're also going to be getting an Apple Devices app to replace managing uh, devices on iTunes. And then I believe we're getting another application as well, but I forget the name. Uh, but in general, uh, we have three apps coming from Apple. Uh, these are technically all in preview, even though when you download it um, and you open them up, they don't actually say preview as you see up here in the corner. It just says Apple TV. So in this case today, I'm going to look at Apple TV and then in other videos, I'll be focusing in on those other applications that Apple is releasing. Now, just a quick heads up, like I was saying, uh, all of these applications essentially replace the iTunes application. So Apple a long time ago, or not a long time, a couple years ago decided to um, remove uh, iTunes essentially on their Mac devices and all their devices really, other than iPhones, um, and replace it with an all-in-one uh, or, or three different applications being Apple TV for your shows and media, um, Apple devices um, for your you know devices, and that other app that I can't think of right now that I'll probably flash on the screen every time I can't think of it um, for the rest. So let's jump into it. Now, now I remembered exactly what that application was. It's actually Apple TV, Apple Music, and Apple devices, actually. It just kind of jogged my memory. But regardless, this one is the Apple TV one. And as you can see, it just launched um, literally today, just a couple hours ago, about six hours ago. You can't actually search for this in the store. You actually have to have a link to it, which of course the nice thing with this video is I'll have the link to all three of them um, on all three of the videos. So that way, if you have an Apple device and you wanna manage them, you can go ahead and do that. But now let's go full screen and jump into it. So Apple TV, it's got your usual Windows 11 style menu. It's got your menu on the left side here with all your options there. Um, it doesn't have a hamburger menu to show you the, uh, the icons only to expand to text. So that's one thing. It has a back button to go back home. So if I wanna go home and go home, I can go back and it reverts back to Apple TV. Um, the other thing that you do have as well is you have your sidebar actions, which is import, which allows you to import a video. For some reason, you have an increase volume button and a decrease volume button when uh, your laptop has volume on the keyboard. And I guess your big desktop will have it on the speaker. And then your Windows computer has it also on your computer just by going down here and simply adjusting your volume. So not sure why Apple included that off the top of my head, but hey, it's there and it doesn't seem to be terrible. So we'll take that with a grain of salt. Now we'll start with this first area here. Uh, right here we have your watch now. So this is up next. This is based on my Apple TV account or my Apple account, um, Apple ID. And this is stuff that I was watching and or testing. So you have C and a whole bunch of other things here that I was watching, War of the World, Severance, really good show. I highly recommend it, by the way. Um, another thing too, you got your watch to watch. It's kind of has the Amazon like Fire TV kind of menu structure where it's like, you got your little sections in little column areas and then on rows in each section, you can slide around and see uh, what you wanna watch. So that's kind of interesting. Next up, we have here the Apple TV section or the Apple TV Plus section of the application. Um, I'm not currently paying for Apple TV, but I did pay for quite a bit once I was watching this very show here, Severance, very good show, like I said. Um, and it was just, it's a, it's a good service, but obviously, Next is the Apple TV Plus tab of it. Um, again, you have your big, big advertisement logo for Apple TV Plus here, um, which they even show how much it costs and everything like that. And when you do click on this, it does in fact not open up a web browser. It opens up in-house in the application, like a little window, and it tells you that you can sign up via your Apple ID. So it was just, it's pretty nice that it doesn't go out to the web and then you download, so that's good. Um, it's also down here. You can see what you want to watch for free. These watch premieres are free. Up next on Apple TV Plus, um, popular stuff, catch up seasons, a whole bunch of things here. A big advertisement for the M. Night Shyamalan Servant, um, which I need to actually start watching. I've never heard of it until just now. Um, but they put the big advertisements there for um, 
you know, popular things or things they're really trying to push. And then the minor regular size Amazon Fire TV style uh, icons for the rest. So that's kind of the general trend here. Severance being really popular. They made it big. However, there is one weird thing that I just noticed right here looking at it. Um, it is that this image here of Severance and let's click next just to see. Okay, so these images here of Blackbird, Severance, you notice the rounded corners there. The rounded corners would look like they're about the same as the rounded corners down here and on everything else. But if I scroll up to the top here, M. Night Shyamalan's logo here or image here for advertising this servant, um, it actually is not rounded. It's squared off like crazy. It's not even lined up. In fact, the, the pixelization right here it's not lined up or anything like that. So if there's anything, yes, this is preview still for these application, but Apple, knowing how you're really perfectionist in some sense, um, probably fix this here because it doesn't look right. It's the only thing that doesn't really look right in this whole thing, other than this banner up here, which is square as well with slight rounding. In fact, now this bothers me even more because I'm noticing slight rounding down here on this banner. And then on the top here, it's square. Don't know what the reason for it was, but they put rounding on the bottom two, and then top two are not rounded at all. They're just squared off. And then of course down here is all square, no rounding at all. And then the rest here is all rounding. So it's kind of funky, um, but it does the job. Keep it on going on. We have a tab for store and you can see between the movies and the TV stores. Um, so you can see uh, the big advertisements for the movie stores and the TV stores right here. Again, same thing we have now we have rounding here at the top big image um and then we have rounding down here so this one looks pretty good and then next we go further on and you have everything looks pretty similar uh you got your top reality you know shows in order and things like that so everything looks pretty good there again uh, next thing here we have library under library it's a folder in a sense but we also have three dots which means you can edit the sidebar and check off what you want to add and what you don't want to add. So if I want to add home videos, um, I can do that. So therefore the home video should be what I put in, correct? Yep. I put in this Final Fantasy Crisis Core uh, reunion video. It's only zero seconds, so I'm not going to click it because it won't do anything. But this is a home video and it does show. Um, but let's go back up to recently added. So what recently added, we got my video that I put in. That's why it has this timestamp. And then it has Mickey Mouse, uh, Three Musketeers, and Wreck It Ralph, The Re Walking Dead, the Robin Big. Um, and then it just kind of breaks it down. It's like a filter system for the rest of it right there. So, what I'm going to do to test out the video player to show you guys how video functions is so I'm just going to play one. So, I'm not going to do anything related to Disney because uh, even if I kind of pause it on Disney, I feel like I'll still get kind of targeted. So, let's just do Robin Big and see how it looks up. So you see how the general layout is right there. Okay, so we got Robin Big. So now take a look at it. You see that when I hover over, it is its own kind of video player, which is fine. Um, but there are some issues that I see with it. In fact, there are two right off the bat. First things first, um, there's no full screen button that I can find. I don't see a single full screen button on this app anywhere. Um, and then the other thing there is that there's no pick a quality setting. So you cannot pick um, between HD, 720p, 480p, 4K, whatever. You don't get a you don't get to pick. It's kind of like some of the other apps on Windows that for some reason the streaming services don't allow you to pick what quality setting. And I don't I can't find a way to do that, which is very strange. Um, then you got this uh, picture in picture button here. So that means that if I kind of do anything, it'll always be above. Uh, and then if I click it back, it'll be back to its normal size. Um, one other thing that I did notice is when I try to snap it to the left, right, top, or whatever, it just kind of picks its own snap size uh, based on the content that you're watching. So like Robin Big, if I snap it, it kind of snaps to Robin Big's natural aspect ratio that it's being showed with. So if I fast forward a little bit to like here, just to show, uh, you know, say more of the show like this, uh, it kind of just picks whatever it wants. If I go full screen like that to snap to the top and go full, it doesn't do that. If I go this side, it doesn't do that. It kind of just picks whatever it wants, it, whatever the aspect ratio to hold the aspect ratio. It doesn't even include the black bars on the sides or anything like that. It just will only show no black bars um, as big as it wants to get. Um, if I click this full screen button, then it goes full screen and shows black bars, and then it lets you minimize it from there. But if you simply want to just do it this way, snap it up here, you can't do that. It doesn't even want to snap uh, in the aspect ratio to the corner. It just kind of picks a spot 
which again is kind of funky and weird. I don't know why the choice was that. Otherwise, you got your caption system, so you can choose on English captions. Um, you can put on your volume, adjust your volume forward and back by 10 seconds and play. Um, minimize it still works like that. So that otherwise still works. Um, it's just weird. Uh, it's just overall weird uh, that they chose to do it that way. In fact, what I noticed too is when I choose to snap, um, it's acting as if it is full screen in a way by having square corners, as you can see there. Uh, but when I drag it away from the corner, it brings back to the regular rounded corners. In fact, and then when I increase the size, it brings back the rounded corners uh, just like that. And when I drag it like this, this is you see that it wants to create the black bars in some senses, but it never does it. Um, so it's it's a weird application. It definitely works, that's for sure, but it's weird. Um, a few other things you have before I close this out is you have a search for all of those titles and then you have your sort as by things. So only downloaded, let's go to recently added. So you can sort by um, say only downloaded items, which is this. Um, and then if you wanna download an item, let's say you wanna download Robin Big, you just click the three dots um, in your library and then you hit download. And this is what the download looks like. So if I open that up, you see downloads and it does support simultaneous downloads. So if you want to download like three episodes of a show at once and your internet can do it, you can do it and it works perfectly fine. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much in a nutshell, Apple TV on Windows 11. It works pretty much as expected. However, some of the sizings and the clipping and stuff like that is kind of funky. Um, so since it's in preview, I'll give it with all, I'll, I'll just, I won't judge it too heavily. But I'm hoping that when they finally remove, or if they finally remove the preview um, designation, these things will be fixed. I know Apple doesn't care nearly as much about Windows anymore, but hopefully these things will be fixed. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this application. Um, and thanks for taking a look at my first look at Apple TV.